Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we will create a de-bloated Windows 11 25 H2 ISO. To create a bloat-free Windows 11 bootable, we will be using a tool called Tiny11 Builder. So the tool can automatically remove apps such as OneDrive, News, Weather, Xbox, Microsoft Copilot, Outlook, Microsoft Teams, and even Microsoft Edge. In addition to the app removal, the tool also allows you to bypass the Microsoft account requirements and create a local account during the setup. It also uses the compact deployment flag to reduce the size of the final installation. So as you can see here that my original Windows 11 ISO is approximately 7 GB, whereas my final debloated Windows 11 ISO is just 5 GB. So by the end of this video, you will have a bloat-free Windows 11 25 H2 ISO file which is ready to be used. So let's get started. First, open any browser and search for Windows Insider Preview Download on Google. Now, open the first official Microsoft link and make sure you are logged into your Microsoft account. Great. Now scroll down a bit and you will see the Select Edition option. Now click on it and then select the latest Release Preview Channel. So as of today, the latest build is 26200. So just select it and then click on the Confirm button. Now here, select your language. So I will select English International and then click on the Confirm button. So after a while, you will see the Download button. So just click on 64-bit Download and download the Windows 11 ISO file. So as I have already downloaded this file, so I will skip this process. Again, open any browser and search for Tiny11 Builder. Now, open the first link from the GitHub. On the right panel, click on the Releases section. So as you can see that the latest version as of today is the September release. So under Assets, click on the source code file and save it to your desktop. Now, we will move on to mounting our Windows 11 ISO file. So just right click on the downloaded ISO file and then click on the mount button. So as you can see that our Windows 11 ISO has been mounted and it has been allotted the drive letter F. Now, close your browser and right click on the tiny 11 zip file and click on extract all. So this will extract all the contents of this folder. So these are all the contents of Tiny11 Builder tool. Moving on, click on Start and then search for Terminal. Now right click on the Terminal app and then click on Run as Administrator. Now click on this arrow and make sure you are in the PowerShell, the Windows PowerShell. Now, copy and paste this command into your PowerShell. I will share all these commands in the video description below. Now type ampersand sign followed by a space and then open the quotes. Now go back to your tiny 11 builder folder and copy the location of the folder as shown. Now again go back to the terminal and paste this address. Now type slash followed by this file name. So the name of the file is tiny11maker.ps1. So just type tiny11maker.ps1 and close the quotes and press enter. Now here type R and press enter. Now you will have to enter the drive letter for your Windows 11. So as we mounted our Windows 11 ISO, Windows allotted it the drive letter F. So just go back and type the exact drive letter and press enter. So for me it was F. Now wait for a while and then you will need to choose the version of your Windows 11. So you can see that Windows 11 Pro has an index number of 6. But if you scroll down above you will find the index number for Windows 11 Home Edition as well. So you can select any version as you like. I am using the Windows 11 Pro version. So I will just type 6 and press enter. Now this will take a while and your de-bloated Windows 11 ISO will be ready to use. In the meantime, you can sit back and relax as this process is time taking. 
For me, this entire process took around 30 minutes. So after the process is complete, you can press enter and exit the script. So once the script is closed, you need to type in the following command and press enter. And that's it, you can now close your terminal as well. You can find the newly created ISO file in the tiny11 folder by the name tiny11.iso. You can now use Rufus or any other tool to create a bootable installer media and install the bloat-free version of Windows 11 25 h 2 So that's it for today. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to our channel for more amazing videos like these. I will see you in the next one.